Hello, I'm Scott Florence and just now what I'm going to be talking about is more of the latest science news, more specifically invisibility cloaks against earthquakes. Now this is still just a concept and it hasn't been experimentally proved as of yet, but this was developed at the University of Manchester within the university's School of Mathematics by Dr. William Parnell's team. Now how this in theory will work is similar to optical invisibility, which no doubt I'll link to here about a, for an explanation of how that works. Now, with the use of materials such as compressed rubber, powerful waves that are coming up this structure will be diverted around it. Powerful waves include earthquakes or any elastic types of waves, and the direction and speed of these waves will be able to be controlled. To quote Parnell, whose team worked on this theory. Whilst he was talking about elastic waves, the real problem with the latter is that it is normally impossible to use naturally available materials as cloaks. We showed theoretically that pre-stressing a naturally available material, rubber, leads to a cloaking effect on the specific type of elastic waves." End quote. Parnell's team are currently working on more general theories for how this could work, and they are working on how it could be used in practice. Now this would be useful for protecting structures such as nuclear power plants from earthquakes and potentially protecting vital parts of buildings. Earthquakes can be disastrous as we've seen in the past such as in the event of Haiti. A quick summary for any of you that are wondering of how optical invisibility works is essentially what is done is the light waves are bent around an object using specific materials and um, having it leave the object in the same manner as it entered the object. So it's as if the light was never disturbed by the object. And this pressurised rubber could potentially do the same sort of thing with earthquakes preventing major disasters. That's all for today. If you have any questions, suggestions or corrections, comment down below. Remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.